All right, welcome to chapter three. Okay, in this chapter project, we're gonna be building a CSS image slider. All right, so you see these all over the place. Basically, um, we're gonna have a row of thumbnails, and when we click on a thumbnail, the bigger image will slide into place. All right, but most of the most of the image sliders that you see are written using JavaScript, all right, using the jQuery library or something like that. Uh, but you can do pretty much the same thing using CSS. All right, so this project won't use any JavaScript or jQuery at all. Uh, it's going to be pure CSS. We're going to use a very minimal um, HTML markup, and we're going to introduce CSS animation and keyframes. All right, so keyframes, uh, the next video will actually be kind of an introduction to keyframes. Uh, which allow us to do animation using CSS. And we'll talk about Z indexes and layers, okay, because we need certain images. We want the image that's coming in to overlap the, the image behind it, and we can set that using Z indexes. All right, and we'll also touch a little bit on using uh, an image of a gradient and repeating it across the background to give us a gradient look. So the sections, obviously we have the introduction, which is this video. Uh, you can see a little thumbnail here of what it's gonna look like. Uh, I just created some different color images with text. Um, the next section, we're gonna do an introduction to keyframes. In section three, we'll do the HTML markup. Uh, section four, we'll do the page CSS. So basically just the page styling. And then in section five, we'll um, we'll do the keyframes. We'll do the animation. So, what will you learn in this in this chapter? Um, positioning, which is very important, absolute and relative positioning in CSS. Um, we're going to slice up a background image in Photoshop. And if you don't have Photoshop, uh, don't worry about it. Um, I pretty much just uh, just threw it in this chapter in case uh, you wanted to know how to do that, but don't worry about it if you don't have it. Um, just use the image that that's included in the in the files. And we're going to repeat that image in the background. Um, we're going to repeat it horizontally across the x axis. Um, sizing elements, basic animation, and CSS keyframes. Okay, so that's what this project will entail. Alright, so that's it and let's get started.